with head coach Nietzsche Perry after a heartbreaking 63-60 loss to East Tennessee State. Coach, just your, your thoughts on the game. Um, I thought we had our opportunities. Uh, we played hard uh, throughout the whole game. We got in a little bit of low the first half, uh, put them on the free throw line. Um, pretty much the majority of the first half, I think I looked up and foul count was 9-2 to two at some point. Uh, stats always deceiving. We shot 23 free throws to their 18, um, but uh, out-rebounded us. Uh, uh, Tiana Burley, number five, had probably a career night. A kid that's not averaging that many minutes, not not that many points, uh, comes in and has her best day on us. And I think any any time a, a player off the bench, a role player comes in and does that to you, it's going to hurt you. Now, obviously, you know, despite the outcome, um, you guys did fight. You know, you're down 41-29 at halftime. You you know, came back within two, just couldn't get over that, that hump. Talk a little bit about the team's fight in, in tonight's game. I, I thought we just didn't quit tonight. I, you know, I, it was a, a moment there. It was 54 to 50, I think, three or four minutes. Uh, and just learning how to not think about being tired and, you know, just the the nuances of the game. I, I think uh, we had, like I said, we missed some free throws uh, kind of late. That I think would have gave us a little bit of momentum. Uh, our kid got, Nina got uh, frozen on the free throw line. Uh, I thought that was huge. She missed two, a kid that normally hits free throws. So I, you know, uh, just didn't go our way today. Your two juniors, once again, Christina Wells, very young, 23 points, 12 points. Just talk a little bit about them and obviously First half it looked like Christina was kind of getting shut out from the from the lane, but she she made adjustments and, and got to the lane in the second half. Uh, I thought she was just pushing a little bit too hard. I think she wanted it so bad. I don't necessarily think they get, they kept her out. I don't think she was attacking like she did the second half. Kind of settled for some threes. Uh, I mean, she, I think this is the first game she shot four threes, uh, which is not characteristic of her. Um, Bree Young, uh, she did a lot of damage the first half, and again, just you know, wanted, trying to get them to do what they do and continue to do that for 40 minutes. And then uh, talk a little bit about the team's resiliency. Obviously, you you know, a son back to back. You have to come out again on Saturday. Um, well, I think, we think we're a tough team. Uh, we're learning every game. Um, I'm learning them more. They're learning me. I think. Uh, I mean, I think we got just as good a shot as beat, uh, beating upstate as we did ETSU. I, I felt uh, that we were the better team. I feel like we're, we are the better team. We step out there. We're a blue-collar team. And so that's my expectation is that we'll, we'll compete with upstate. Talk about the uh, your final inbound play, choosing to go to DeAndre Sawyers. Uh, just because, uh, Christina, uh, we have a little eye contact thing. Um, when the ball on that side of the court and we're trying to get to that right side, uh, DeAndre is usually um, the better one. I mean, that, that's, it just was what it was. Uh, she had a pull-up jumper before she got all the way in there. Uh, she's a freshman, but I wouldn't have done it over. Uh, I thought, she, you know, she, she's taken plenty of big shots in her career, and that was, you know, I, I thought a great opportunity. We, we knew we were going to have to rebound the ball. So, I, you know, I felt like we had a, a good shot at it. And Christina Wells, just again, uh, came out, she had three points in the first half and came out 20 here in the second. Just talk about um, her and as a, as a leader and really putting the team on the back in the second half. Uh, she has a, the, the ability and the power to turn it on and, and carry the team. Uh, we've seen it time and time again, so I wasn't surprised. Uh, in that way, I was comforted at halftime thinking she only had three. So, you know, she got to come on at some point. We haven't had a, we've had maybe one game where, where she didn't, produce like she normally does. I, I thought she really wanted it. Her family was there today. So I think she had to get a few of the jitters out. Um, and then she, she did her thing. And uh, what does this loss mean as far as the t tournament and your mindset for each game coming up? Uh, it's, it's huge. I think now we're tied with ETSU. We have the same record. Um, and we got, you know, I, I think we got some winnable games just as they do. Uh, so we're going to be clawing and scratching to, get, to stay in the tournament. Uh, so we know that every game is do or die.